Look, there's a lot of heat around Professor Marcia Langton and the way she's often used the R word, racism. And she's fallen again for the old lefty mistake of abusing the very vo voters whose votes that she needs for her cause. But just to put the hysteria from the no camp into perspective, Langton is a prominent yes campaign advocate for sure. But she's always been a firebrand and always been aggressive in public debate. Langton smeared numerous people with the spectre of racism over the years, including me. It's one of the things I had to carefully consider before I joined the working group she co-chaired on The Voice under the coalition. And this is my point. She's always been like this, always someone who can be incendiary in public debate and divisive, yet it was the coalition under Scott Morrison who appointed her to co-chair their process for designing a legislated Indigenous voice. So while the attacks mount against her, just remember she's the person the Coalition entrusted to design a voice, a voice they say would be divisive if legislated under a new clause in the Constitution, but not divisive if they legislated under existing clauses. Go figure. And just one other thing on this debate, though. I think it's been way too toxic on both sides. The no side would have a lot more credibility, though, in calling out Professor Langton if just one of them, just one, actually called out this speaker or so-called comedian who addressed the CPAC Conservative Conference last month where so many of the leading no advocates also made their case. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional rent seekers, <laughs> past, present and emerging. <laughs> but seriously, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners, violent black men. I hope there are some real feminists in the audience who appreciate the part truth of that joke. Yeah, pretty horrible stuff, eh? Hey? Yet not a peep from the no advocates who were there and even helped to organise that event, nor have they distanced themselves from no campaigner Gary Johns calling for Indigenous people who have DNA testing to get welfare. And neither have they called out another no campaigner, David Adler, who mocked Stan Grant on social media over his skin colour. I mean, call out racially incendiary rhetoric by all means, but call it out on both sides. Call all of it out, or you run the risk of not living up to your own standards.